around. Good? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. First of all, we want to say a comment a lot. Yeah, how do I play? Yeah. How to shot? Double honors with the apostles and the other three. That's right. And salutation to Yaki, who's pushing his word into the series. Uh, you get from the Revelation 14. Why are we on the highways and byways to prophesy the downfall of the so-called white man's kingdom when the Bible is known as Esau? Okay? We're here to prophesy against his kingdom and, uh, and, and to uh, wake up the, the elect of, uh, of Israel. The elect that's spoken about in the Bible, which is 144,000 Israelite men and 12,000 Israelite men from each 12 tribes. Revelation 14 and 9, and it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Guess what? Believe it or not, 99% of the world is following and worshiping the image of the beast. In so many ways and forms. Credit cards, cell phone, right? These abominations happening down the street. Ideology. Ideology. Uh, you have gay parades uh, in, in many different states and cities. One world government. One world government. Let's one world unity. Let's go all love each other. These are different things that are serving the image of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of Esau, of the dragon. You know, also, you, you want to, even uh, with uh, Stephen Bonjour, it's another form of serving uh, uh, Esau's kingdom. Okay? The same shall drink of the wine of the Hashim al which is poured out with that mixture into the cup of his nation. So, the same people that worship the so called white man's uh, doctrine, ideology, the same, same, the same shall drink of the wine. At the cup of Yahweh of Hashim Yahushai, again Isaiah 63 and 1. We'll tell you what that wine, uh, what the, uh, a part of what that, uh, what the wine is. That poured out mixture. And a lot of, Isaiah 63 and 1. So a lot of you think that who everybody calls, ignorant calls Jesus Christ, is coming with hugs, kisses, and rainbows. You think he's coming to save the whole world. You guys think, you guys, some of you will even think, most of you will even think that you believe in a hell, okay? You believe that the Lord sends people to hell, but at the same time you say, you say that the Lord loves everybody. That's contra that's contradiction, man. If the Lord loved everybody, he wouldn't send anybody to hell, would he? If hell was real. Because the Lord doesn't love everybody. Just like how we have favorites, the Lord has favorites. And guess what? He doesn't favor the wicked, I'll tell you that. The Lord is angry with the wicked. Every day, exactly. Actually, you know what? Uh, hold Isaiah 63 and get Isaiah 65 real quick. Read uh, the Lord's That's what you guys get? Isaiah 65 and 5? Yeah. Yeah, Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65 plus. Start, hey, start from, start from uh, 1. Uh, Isaiah 65 and 1. Huh? I am sought of them, and of, so like, of them that ask not of me for me. That's right. You got pastors who look for the Lord, but they don't ask for the Lord. You got people who, who uh, will, will deny the prophets of the Lord because they expect Yahweh well, Shai to come down himself and actually teach them. Yeah. Like they'd be reading the scriptures for 30 plus years and won't understand the fact that the Lord uses his men to speak to other people. The Lord speaks through the prophets, man. The prophets are how it works. The prophets are the middleman between, uh, between Yahweh Shai and, and, and the rest of the world. And then Yahweh Shai is the middleman between the, the, the prophets and Yahweh. That's how it works, man. In, 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 a, in a small sense, we're kind of like middlemen because even in the time of uh, uh, King, uh, what's his name? Uh, before King David, uh, Saul, Saul, and, uh, Saul, yeah. Saul and Samuel. Saul was a king, but he had to go to the prophet Samuel to understand what the Lord was trying to do. 
threat. So that shows that he was a middleman. The prophets were middlemen. Even when King David, he went off, uh, the Most High sent the prophet Nathan to speak to King David about his, uh, his uh, about many uh, adults. So guess what? The Most High used the prophet as middlemen. And the number one prophet is the Shai. That's right. On down to the apostles and the sincere brothers who are doing this work, the elect. Yeah. I got a piece of advice, yeah? It's the book of Luke chapter 1. Verse 68, verse 7 is the point. It says, Blessed be the Lord Yahweh, power of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. He has raised up an arm of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, man. Why do you think the prophets are able to prophesy, man? Yeah. Listen, a pro a prophesying comes from uh, from a message of the Lord. Yeah. We, that's why you have prophets, or you have so-called prophets, who will prophesy, but it's not according to the Lord's Lord. Yeah. Showing you that that means you're not prophets. Because if you're prophesying, you're only going to be prophesying, if you're a prophet of the Lord, you're only going to be prophesying according to the words uh, the words of the Lord. You know, how about shot? That's right. But if you're prophesying that all oh, Edomites can make it, that's, that's against the word of the Most High. Yeah. So guess what? You're not a prophet. And there's some rule, you know, that all the brothers are talking about now, because they say leave the Edomites alone. You know? Because you know, every time we prophesy, 99% Edom have to come, okay, according to the scripture, man. Because in the so called we're supposed to prophesy in downfall, okay, because the Lord commanded us to do so. Yeah, so there's no gonna leave peace alone, man. That's right, man. No, yo, like honestly, you know, just like imagine it, right? Like you got a movie, right? You got a good guy and a bad guy, and then you take the bad guy out of the movie. What good is your movie, man? There's no yeah, drama, yeah, exactly. right? Esau has to be in that movie in order, to be, right? In order for it to play out well, man, right? The Lord said that, you know, Esau, you know, Mount Seir, I am against thee. So if the Lord is against Esau, are we supposed to be in one accord with your Habashi Malachai? We're supposed to talk about these Edomites, man. The only reason why Nate brought that up is because he's under the 501 Supreme Charter, man. Well, that's right? that scripture, what whole conversation about yeah. what that uh, art thou to be. Exactly, you know, and you then... You saw the champ, yeah. you know, the downfall of this kingdom. Yeah, exactly, you know, you know, you know, you know, so Nate, you know, he said, I'm talking about the white man, and he tells us to be serpent, you know, uh, so like, like, you know, how to be as white as serpent, but then they wear their garments everywhere they go, man, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? They're contradicting themselves, they're being a bunch of hypocrites, man. Well, yeah, how should I say, uh, uh, don't do as they do. Yeah. Do what they say. Yeah, exactly, you know. They don't even follow what they say. Exactly, you know, he's, he's, he's saying, don't talk about the white man, be as white as serpent, but then they wear their garment under their suit, man. Yeah. You know, going to work with it, you know? Even though, like, as we're living today, man, the soccer world, man, destroying the whole earth every day, man. It's not giving the, the earth rust. It's killing, it's killing every, every person on the first of the earth, man. So, so, so why actually. the hell we're not supposed to speak against him, man? Okay? Esau is the, is the main cause of all of our afflictions, man. That's right. You know? The Lord is literally against the most high. Exactly. Yeah. Right? And it says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world begun. Oh. And yo, so even, you know, and, and yo, so, yo, so basically, like, you know, I'm mean, even, you know, like back, you know, like in the time of Genesis, you know, in the Garden of Eden, right? It was the prophets that were speaking to Adam and Eve, man, you know, and telling them what they were doing was going on. You know, the scripture says that the Most High was, uh, was very cool in the day. The voice of the it, Lord. It they heard the voice, yeah, they heard right? the voice. That there were actually men that That's were right. prophets. The voice of the Lord is a, is a prophet. God, right? that were speaking to Adam and Eve, like the brother was saying. That's right, since the war begun. Right. So the Lord always had prophets since he created this planet, man. That's right. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 that was it. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 28, and then in a week, it said, The prophet that has been before me and before thee of, of all, they said, uh, The prophet that has been before me and before thee of all, prophesied both against many countries. Yeah. Prophesied both against many countries, man. And guess what? 99% of the countries in this world, heck, even more, more, even maybe most of, uh, maybe even all of them, 
had some way or form adopted the, the ideologies and, the, and, the, and the basically have drunk in the wine of America. That's right. So guess what? We're supposed to prophesy against America and the other, any other uh, countries that have drunk, that have drunk in the wine uh, of America. And it, and it says, against great kingdoms yeah. of war, and of evil, yeah, and this of, is a great kingdom, man. You know, of war and of evil, man. That's right. There's war every single day. If you're watching the news, look at Venezuela, man. Venezuela is in one hell of an uproar, man. You know, and Mexico just filed for bankruptcy. Yo, better uh, Puerto Rico yeah, too. Yeah, it, it's probably worse there than in Venezuela now, man. So I'm telling you, man, there's war all over the world, man. This is the kingdom that's of war and of evil. What? Same-sex marriage? That's not evil. That's an abomination according to the Bible, according to the word of the Lord. You have, you have, preg you have men that can get pregnant, man. That is complete. Uh, that's completely out of order. That's not how the most high uh, uh, made things. Yeah, yo, you know, okay, yo, recently, like I just watched on YouTube, right? This interview, you know, and Esau is basically saying that, you know, like in order for us to go to Mars, they need to warm it up. So Esau, you know, basically, you know, he wants to come up with the idea of, you know, of like, you know, basically, like, you know, I'm a, basically, like, you know, I'm a mutant, you know, with thermal nuclear missiles, Mars, you know, so that, you know, you know, so that, like, so, you know, so that, like, you know, I'm a, warm, you know, I'm, you know what I mean? Esau wants to literally destroy the whole fucking planet. That's because that's his spirit, man. His spirit is destruct. Well, Cain, the word Cain, because the Edomites go back to Cain. Yeah. The word Cain means a weapon, man. Yeah, a that's sword. Right. That's right. So that's all Esau, that's all Esau does, man. Yeah. Destroy. And that was his blessing, this war, anyway. The man literally said he said it and everyone's laughing. Sorry, Salah. Yeah. You no, know? Yeah. You know, so you know, he he did Esau wants you he wants to nuke Mars so then we can go and inhabit it, bro. You can't even get to you can't go outside of the atmosphere of the earth, man. No? What's I say you're man? That's right. And it says, of war, and of evil, and of pestilence. The prophet will prophesy of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Then shall the prophet be known. And guess what? Y'all can look at us right now and scoff at us and laugh at us and mock us. That's fine, man. It doesn't affect us. You know why? Because at the end of the day, we know the world's gonna know who the prophets were. The world will know who the real prophets of were of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Beginning with the elders, and the, or beginning with the apostles and the elders on down, man. You guys are gonna know, because guess what? The scriptures speak about the strangers of salvation. Because the people that you look about you look upon as some of the earth are gonna be the people who are gonna be uh, saved. Because guess what? We're out here prophesying against this wicked kingdom. Not like Nain is or these other camps are. And we're also speaking the word rightly dividing the truth. We're not saying all Edomites can be saved. Not even all Israel can be saved. So how the hell is all Edomites can be saved, man? Yeah, and you know like you know like with that doctrine, right? Um, Israel tried to define. Now they're saying that you know what? Edom is not gonna be done away with in the kingdom after a thousand years of slavery. We're just supposed to show you that after you leave off the branch of Brit Millstone, right, the elders, and when you, you know, want to say, oh, you know what, the Lord is teaching me, only the Lord is teaching me, then you come up with, with these wicked ass doctrines like that, man, saying that Edom is not going to be done away with in the kingdom. Explain over that one in 18, man. Come on. Yeah. You don't know. Because at the end of the day, Nate and the other Israelite camp, who's not teaching the truth, the prophesying of peace. But the Lord Yahweh is not about peace, you know. Not right now. Yeah, that's right. You know, the Lord He wants He He wants to destroy the Edomites and the other nation for our sake, you know, for everything that the heathen have done unto us. So the Lord He wants our payback, man. You know, that's Isaiah 63. You know, that's Isaiah 63. Isaiah 63. Isaiah 63 and one. Yeah. Isaiah 63 and one. Who is that that cometh from Edom, with dying garment from Bozrah? This. That is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Right. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou ready in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treaded in the winepress? Guess what? If you ever you click on the video on YouTube, search up treading in the winepress, 
shredding wine fat, you'll see how, you know, when you make wine, you got a bucket full of grapes, and you tread through it. You stomp it down to make the wine. And you come out, the person come out, it's all red looking. Well, I guess it says that Yahweh Shai, who's ignorant called Jesus Christ, when he comes, his whole attire, his apparel, is going to be dyed with red, as if he trotted the wine, uh, wine fat. Showing he could do a lot of killing, man. The one that you say that loves everybody, he's going to be doing a lot of killing. A lot of it. Because to him, technically this happened like two and a half, two, two and a half days ago. So the, the, the memory of being hung on a, on a tree and laughed at and spat on, slapped around, mocked of, and you know basically every other cruel thing you could think of is still Im Im embedded in his mind, man. And he'll tell you that. I have trodden the winepress alone and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. I have nothing to do with love. And it says, and their blood shall sprinkle upon my garment, and I will stain all my remnant. That's right. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. The day of vengeance is in my heart. People used to, people always get on me for why you always about, about revenge. Yo, revenge is righteous, man. That's right. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity, man. So guess what? The only way, the only way, uh, um, what happened to us is going to be justified is if, is if if we get revenge on Esau and two thirds of Israel, man. We good. We good. No, no, no. Yes. That's not the right way. You don't force it on someone if if you knew that that, that was the truth. See? That's a thing. That's just saying time to stuff what's going on. And it says, For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. And I looked and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore my own arm brought salvation unto me and my fury is it uh, my fury it upheld me and I will tread down the His people. His fury upheld him. Yeah. His anger upheld him, man. Because yeah. when all hell breaks loose and the elect are, are put into the new body, guess what? With the house shy, alongside your house shy, we're gonna get the slain too. Okay, we're gonna get the slain, we're gonna get the slaughtering. And, and guess what? What's going to pull us? Our fury, our anger. The Most High, on top of what, our, what we already know, the Most High is going to put His Spirit in us to 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 uh, to, get, to uh, do His will. Yeah. That's right. Like because in Ezekiel, the Lord's going to put His anger in us. Yo, so you know what? You might not, you know, actually, you know, like you know, like you might not have that, like you know, like you might not have that aggressive spirit. Yeah, you know, that that aggressive spirit right now. But the Lord is going to give you that remembrance of what these people did to you, man, and your past children, and so on and on, man. You're, you're, you're going to go on a rampage, man. Well, that's what, that's what being in this truth is all about. It's about building that aggression, because it says, be ye angry and sin not. not. Yeah. So guess what? You got to be angry, but not sin. So you have to contain your anger. You got to keep that, you got to be patient. You got to wow. suffer a little while longer. You got to keep that anger balled up so that when it's time to let it loose, that's it. Exactly. You get going, you know? Yeah, because, you know, when, when the Lord's on your side, who should be against you, man? That's right. Right? Because when now we, we got the power and we got the say so from Yahweh Bashin Ashai, the white man is no more in leadership, man. We can do whatever we want, man. The supreme being is on our side, man. That's right. Okay? And the white man can't do anything about it, man. The person will be uplifted from us. Therefore, when we're angry, we can do something about it then, man. Because in, in Esau's kingdom, you know, if we did something according to the Bible that's righteousness, that's a sin according to Esau's kingdom, man. According to Esau's laws. You know, so we're about to go about, you know, the laws of Yahab Ashwasha. Like he just says that all things are lawful but not expedient. And so you gotta be smart with what you say and how you say it and what you do, man. You know? And it says, and I will tread down the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. 
right? So when the Lord brings down their strength to the earth, their power, man. Because when you got power, you could be the scum of the earth like the so-called white man, but still have so much to say, man. You know, you still have so much, you know, in your words. You know, you still have so much influence. You still have much power, although you're not, you know, physically, you know, I'm much stronger than the next man. Right? Which represents us because we're not physically powerful. Exactly. But spiritually, because we have the word, we have the truth according to uh, 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 according to you, how about you, Shai? Yeah. We're powerful. That's why we can speak anything. We can speak anything against this, this so called white man, this Edomites, and nothing will happen to us, man. Yeah. We got angels stand, standing around, around among us. Exactly. And then you know, you know what? And if something did happen to us, you know, it's according to the will of the Shai. Right. That's right. right? No, because the Lord said that you know that there's some of us that will be put to death for the truth, man. Right. You know, in the sight of man, they seem to die, but you know, but then you know, I'm a rough paraphrase it. You know, we're gonna live with Abba Shai. Yeah. Well, man. the scripture said none die unto the Lord. There you go. And none actually die unto the Lord. Exactly. And it's better for us even. It's better for us to die for the truth than die in vanity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? That's right. You know, because uh, if you die for the truth, you die for the will of the Lord, you have by Shemia You know? I got a piece of here. Uh, look at Jeremiah 51, and now, uh, I'll start from the. Uh, to, uh, 51 and 20 in the read. Thou, thou art, said, thou art my battle axe. Yeah. A weapon of war. Yeah. He's talking about the elect of Israel. Right. The elect of Israel are the most high battle axe and weapon of war. So then guess what? He's gonna use us, uh, beginning with the Shai and the apostles, to to uh, cleanse alongside the missiles, cleanse his kingdom, man, cleanse this earth. Yeah. By by guess what? By putting by giving away two thirds of Israel, okay, they got it, they got it scarred all over. Uh, killing some Edomites and taking most of them up for uh, for slavery. Same with these other nations. Right, it says, uh, For with thee will I break in peace this nation. You know Israelite according to the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah, yeah. According to the Bible, you're an Israelite. Do you know that? Uh, no. Uh, no. Right, right. And it says, uh, well, it says uh, For with thee will I break in peace this nation. For with thee will I destroy kingdoms. You know? That's what we're doing right now. Right now, it's on a spiritual level right now. By making these videos, coming out here, week in and week out. This is obviously for speaking the truth, making Esau naked. Yes, man. You can have more than one woman, yes. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's the same guy. I mean, I've been doing Karen for a What's that? I mean, having a Brian Karen, what's the Oh, he was a Brian Karen? Yeah, yeah. 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 You heard that thing? Yeah. That stupid play. It is, it is, it is. How you quit that? Yes, they have. They get pregnant. Oh. Thank you. You have to literally, you know, I'm the sneak, you know, into your vehicle in order to you can, you know, get with the woman. What the fuck is it? You know, kept a secret. And you're still paying. You're still paying tuition fees. <laughs> Yo, the Lord said, "What? Be fruitful and multiply." Yeah. How yeah. is that supposed to happen? How is that going to happen other than having sex, man? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But you know, like they make it seem as you know, sex is a sin. It's not a sin, man. It's only a sin when you sleep with another man's woman, man. Yeah, that's right. You know? Yeah. If that woman is single, you can sleep with her, man. If she's single and if she had no man, man. You know, that's lawful. How the hell did you come into this world without your mom and your dad lusting after each other and they had sex, man? Because, you know, again, right, like, they think when you lust after a woman, that's a sin. No! When you lust after another man's woman, that's a sin, man. No, again, not understanding the meaning of words. Lust literally means just to be attracted to a woman. Exactly. And, yo, how the hell is, how the hell is this supposed to with someone when you don't actually lust after them? How do you do that, bro? You can't. Because at the end of the day, Esau, like the brother said, you know, the Lord said, be for for multiply. But Esau's the devil. He wants to reduce the population. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he mm -hmm. that. That's why. That's why he's heavy on creating this, uh, yes. on, on pushing this homosexual vibe. Bye, you because know? he doesn't want Esau to kill. Let's back into Egypt. Said, let's, let's let's kill these guys off yeah, come before on. they uh, exactly yeah. before they multiply. Yeah. That's all Israel does is keep multiplying. But if you keep creating 
homosexuals out of Israel and the rest of the nations, guess what? You have nothing to worry about when it comes to Moscow. That's right, man. You know, and that's the things that Esau tries to, you know, Esau wants to, like, you know, I'm going to recreate everything, man. Esau wants to tell you that he can create a better, you know, I'm a tomato than the Messiah, man. Because everything that the Lord did was natural, but Esau takes the water, puts what, you know, I'm a fluoride and a bunch of shit in there, gives it to you, right? Esau puts, you know, I'm a fish DNA, you know, in our tomatoes, you know, like, you know, in order for it you know, to stay hard and fresh, so called, you know? Food is supposed to break down, man. If you eat something that doesn't break down, guess what it does when it's actually in your stomach? It just sits there, man. And that's how you get fucking sick, man. You know? And, and, and even when they create all of the sin, they're doing it in a laboratory. It, it's yeah. It's secret. It's not even open. The Heavenly Father created everything in the open. You know, the Lord did not create it. Stand up, man. No. I don't know. It's my life. All the bikes. <laughs> All I might say to bastards. This guy. Yeah, but I see you. Hey, this guy's a cheerleader, bro. Yo, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, I work with them, but I gotta work with them. I gotta work with them. No, I see you. I, I, this guy's a cheerleader. Them. I know, I gotta work with them. They, 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 they don't like them, but I gotta work with them. You're a cheerleader, man. I don't like them. Leave me, I don't like them. You're a cheerleader.